It's very difficult for me. I've only done this once before, and I kind of <laughs> fell apart. So uh, all these guys who died on, the, on this day, uh, I saw them die. I, I was with them. And all these guys, they were, they were all laying on the ground. They weren't moving. They were all dead. Just 12 guys. They were all dead. There was nothing we could do. I suffered such post-traumatic stress disorder from that. I was kind of haunted by it. It's all of our buddies who died. Obviously, who's, who the hell's that going to remember them? For some reason, it became my quest to do this. It was like a, something I had to do because I was so tortured by what had happened in this incident. I, this created the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Many of the people who were related to these people on the wall, they, they know they didn't die for nothing. They remember him the way he was when he was 19 or 20 years old, before he got killed in Vietnam. They remember how he was, and they think, you know, what would he have done in life? He would have done something, something good and had a family. But at a young age, he was robbed of his youth. If you look at these memorials, and this one particularly because it's so big with all the names, these are very hard deaths. They were violent deaths that occurred 12,000 miles from Nebraska or your home. It's a tough thing. We ended up with this memorial because of them. Vietnam veterans have come to Washington, D.C. to take part in this ceremony, to dedicate the memorial to all who served. Let us take a moment to remember those who were taken from us, a moment of silence. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial is now dedicated. How about a hand? Thank you.